case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The stage was set when an alarming case of domestic violence led to the divorce proceedings of Havel v. Islam, which took a dramatic turn in 2002 as it found its way to the New York Supreme Court Appellate Division. The situation began when the husband was convicted of severely mistreating his wife and children, a crime severe enough to land him in prison. His violent acts sparked a lawsuit over the division of their approximately $13 million in marital assets. The lower court awarded the entirety of these assets to the wife. While somewhat exceptionally, the husband was accommodated with a mere $150,000 for living expenses. Unhappy with the division of wealth, the husband appealed this decision. His complaints included assertions that the division of assets unfairly considered factors such as his marital misconduct. Additionally, he claimed that his actions were not as extreme as the court portrayed them to be and sought a substantial 50% set-off against any potential compensation to his wife from the personal injury lawsuit she instituted against him. In scrutinizing these points of appeal, the higher court upheld the original judgment of the Supreme Court, New York County. They maintained that the defendant's share of the marital assets should remain at 4.5%, while denying him counsel's fees. Furthermore, they rejected his request for a 50% set-off, finding it to have no validity. Advocating for the wife's right and safety, the court's decision made it clear that the defendant's behavior was indeed egregious and egregious enough to justify a near-complete denial of marital assets. Thus, the initial decision not only remained unaffected but was re-emphasized, confirming that domestic violence, when this shocking, can indeed tip the scales in a divorce settlement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.